In this lesson, we're going to be going over logarithmic properties, and then what we're going to be doing is using those properties to solve some questions. So there are three main logarithmic properties that you need to know. The first one says the following. If you have log of a base, let's say that that's A, and then you have two things multiplied together, or you can have more than two things multiplied together, then multiply becomes plus when you expand it, so it becomes that. Okay, so that's pretty easy to remember. Multiply just becomes plus, okay? And the next one is if you have divide. So you might just want to think about this. What would divide become? Well, if multiply becomes plus, then divide would become, um, so that's a, a B, a minus, okay, or subtract, like that. And then the last one is a bit of a random one. It says that if you have log A, so that's like your base, and then you've got some exponent up here, then what that becomes is you put the exponent in the front and then you have it like that. So what we're going to be doing for the rest of this lesson is we are going to learn how to go from this to this, but then after, later in the video we're going to go from this to that. So we're going to be doing both. So stick around for the whole video so you can see how we do both. I don't only want you to just learn the one way, you need to be able to know how to do it both ways. Okay, so let's begin. So here they tell us to expand, whereas later in the video they're gonna tell us to simplify, and that's when we're gonna go the other way. Okay, so what I want you to realize here, I know it looks overwhelming, but what I want you to realize is that this three, and this x3, and this y, they are all being multiplied. So we know that multiply turns into a plus. So let's go do that so long. So it's gonna become log two of three, plus log two of x3, plus log two of y. And then there's a divide sign. So divide means minus. So we're gonna say minus log two of w. Now if you look at this one, this one, and this one, they all have two parts. They've got the base, and then they've got the normal number. But if you look at this one, it's got three parts. It's got the base, the normal number, and an exponent. So when it's got that third part like that, whoopsie, when it's got that third part, then if we go back to rule number three, then what that means is that the C must end up in the front. So what we're actually gonna end up with now is log two of three plus, now we put the three in the front, log two of x plus log two of y, take away log two w, and that's how you do it. Here's another one, so here we are dividing, so that means minus, so we're gonna say log three of x2 minus log three of y. Now notice that this one has three parts, so that means that this two is gonna jump to the front. And so that's gonna become two log three of x minus log three of y. With this one, I would first put this two inside each of those. So that would then become log three of u to the power of two over v to the power of four. Okay, because remember that exponent rule that says if you have a three, for example, to the power of two, then it becomes a six because you multiply. And so now we can realize that there is a divide over there, so that means minus, so it becomes log three of u two minus log three of v four. Now we can realize that this has three parts and this has three parts, so those exponents need to go to the front. And so that's gonna become two log three of u, take away four log three of v. So here's our next example. So what we can do now, what I would recommend is take this two and just distribute it into both of these so long. So that's gonna become log two of x squared and y8. Now you should realize that these two are being multiplied. And so that's gonna become a plus when you expand it. So it's gonna become log two of x to the power of two plus log two of y8. Now you can see that these are exponents. So those need to end up going to the front, so it becomes log, sorry, two log two x plus eight log two y. Here's our next example, and remember that we are gonna be moving on to a different type of question soon in this video, where we, instead of expanding, we're gonna simplify. In fact, it will be the questions immediately after this one. 
So what I would do here first is I'd realize that there's a multiply. So I know that that becomes a plus. So it's log two, I mean log eight of w2 plus log eight, three square root u. Now, the next thing I would do is I would get rid of the square root. Now you need to remember how to take a square root or a cube root or any type of root and to rewrite it as a with an um, exponent. So the general rule is that if you have, for example, x to the power of, or let's say rather, um, a, b, and c, okay, then you need to write that as a, and then it's always the inside number over the outside number. So for this one, the inside number is a one. There's a u to the power of a one. So what that would then become is uh, this part stays the same. So it's gonna become u to the one over three. Inside number over outside number. Now we need to realize that there are exponents of here, and so those need to go to the front. So that's gonna become two log eight w plus a third log eight of u. Now that we've been practicing the expanding, now we need to learn how to simplify. So now we need to go the other way. So for example, this six now needs to go back over there. And this 18 needs to go over there. So we're doing the opposite now. So we're gonna end up with log eight, 12 to the six, plus log eight, five to the 18. Now, this is a plus. What's the opposite of plus? Well, with logs, it's multiply. Well, not opposite, but like it goes together. So it becomes log eight of 12 to the six multiplied by five to the 18. Okay, so that you might just need to get your head around because it's the opposite of what we were doing. Okay, here's the next one. So these threes, you can think of it as one over three. So let's just quickly rewrite that in a more user-friendly kind of way. There we go. Now we need to realize that these th one over threes need to go over there. So that's gonna become log eight C plus log eight A to the third plus log eight B to the third. Now we need to realize that these are all plus. So that means the opposite of that is, well, for logs it's multiply. So that becomes log eight. And then you're gonna say C multiplied by a to the third, multiplied by b to the third. Now your teacher might be okay with you just leaving the answer like that, but some teachers might want you to rewrite this in root form. So remember that if you have, for example, a to the b and then there's a c, then that becomes a to the inside number over the outside number. So if you go this way, well that's what we're gonna be doing now. So that's gonna become log eight, of c multiplied by root of a one, and then there's a three, and then b, whoops, it would help if I put a root, and then one, and then there's three. Um, now that one doesn't need to be there because a to the one is a and b to the one is b. Now your teacher might even take this further and realize that these two have the same power on the outside, so you can put them together. And so your final answer would then be log eight of c multiplied by by the third root of AB. So this two, um, you should think of it as one over two and one over two. So what we can write this in as is log two plus a half log seven plus a half log 11. And then that would become log two. Now this half needs to end up over here and this half needs to end up over here. So that's gonna become log seven to the half plus log 11 to the half. Now these are all plused together, so that means we are gonna turn that into multiply. So that's gonna become log two multiplied by seven to the half, multiplied by 11 to the half. You might be wondering where's the base? Don't worry, if there's no number there, then it's automatically assumed to be a 10. Now your teacher might ask you to rewrite this in square root form, and so that would become log of two multiplied what by the, the root of seven and then one over two and then 11 and one over two. Now the ones aren't necessary. And then your teacher might even take it one step further and realize that these two have the same power on the outside. And so they could combine it 
as seven times 11, which is 77. And so some teachers might go all the way to that step. And so here's our last example. So the first thing I would do here is uh, take this three and put it back over here, take this two, put it back over here. So that's gonna become log of x to the three, take away log of y to the two, and then realize that this is a, a minus, so that goes with divide. So that's gonna be log of x three over y two. And then you can put that in a bracket if you want.